Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Anna for those of you who don't know me. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little look with this guy right here. This is the Cute AF slash Yes Please palette. I don't know which one is the actual name. The box says Yes Please, but this little guy says Cute AF and that is exactly what it is. It is so cute. Um, when I first got this in the mail, I thought it was like tiny. Like I thought it was going to be like maybe a bit bigger, but like it's just so cute and a little compact and it, I love it. Um, these are really pretty summer colors. Um, a couple of these could be transferred to fall, like these oranger colors, but um, this is a really beautiful palette and it is only $16, so that was a great price for such a great palette. Um, and I do have a few little announcements for you guys. Um, I did start a blog, so that is my website and it's called Hus. Um, it kind of relates to my last name. I will leave that in the description box if you guys want to check that out. I wrote a blog that is about face serums, and I'm going to be putting those serums into my July favorites video. Let me know if you want me to do that video. I'm kind of contemplating on doing it or not. Um, I don't know if that's something you guys would want to see, so let me know in the comment section below. Um, yeah, I also started a Twitter, so if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, it is Annalisa Hussey. It should come up. It is just a picture of me as my profile picture, so you could see it. Um, I'd love to have you guys follow me and interact with me and kind of communicate that way. I do tweet quite often. Um, I like getting video ideas from you guys and see what you guys would want to see. Um, I also just kind of tweet there when I have a new video up, so if you don't have me subscribed, you should. But if you don't, you can follow me on there and then I will let you know when I do post a video. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I created this look with this cute AF palette, you guys can go ahead and keep watching. Alright, so I zoomed you guys in a little closer so you could see what I'm doing a bit better. I'm setting it and getting it a good base. Next, I'm taking big cocktails on a fluffy brush here, and I'm kind of just putting this on my outer corner here and kind of blending it into my crease. This is a pretty bright peach orange, but um, we will blend it out a bit better so you don't see it so much. We're blending that into our crease here and also all the way into our inner corner, just really applying this color down. Next, I'm taking the color GNO, and I'm just going to be popping this on the outer corner of my eye, just in circular motions like so here. And I'm kind of bringing it into my crease ever so slightly with a really light hand. Um, I'm going to make this kind of a halo eye look, so I want to just get this deep colors here and start building those up. We want to leave the middle of the lid pretty bare. Taking that as well on the inner corner here. You can kind of connect those two colors we just did with a light hand to kind of bring this more of a softer kind of halo eye look we're going for here. Taking even more of that color, I'm just going to keep building it up. I want this outer corner to really have some definition, but I'm not going to be taking this color again into my inner corner. I don't want it to be too dark and too overpowering. Next, picking up Spoil. This is kind of a bright cranberry color. I'm placing that right over um, where we put GNO and just bringing these colors together, not popping this onto the center of our lid. Taking that as well into my inner corner here. Next, I'm picking up a little bit of French Kiss. This is the darkest color in the palette. I'm also popping it on the outermost corner of our eye here. I just want to darken this up a little bit more. I don't want to have too much product on my brush. I kind of want this to add just a little bit of slight definition to the look. I don't want it to overpower the colors that we just placed down. Also kind of blending this into my crease here. You can see me doing that just to kind of make this look look a little more put together. I'm not going to be taking this dark color into my inner corner. You know what, I'm actually going to pop a little bit of that color in here as well, that French Kiss color. Um, I decided I think it would look a little bit better and kind of bring the eye look a little bit together. That's what makeup's about, guys, you know. It's all about testing stuff out and see what looks better and which look you prefer. Um, it's just makeup and it washes off, so never try to be too perfect with it. It's something that should be fun and not stressful. Next color I'm taking is a very bright yellow. It's called Mischief. I'm kind of just going to be taking this up on top here to kind of blend out those colors and make it a little more diffused. Um, 
I don't want to be moving the colors around too much, but I definitely want to blend them out a bit. That orange color, I'm going to be blending this right into here. Just making that eye look a little more colorful and a bit more diffused. Taking Big Cocktails on another kind of defined brush here, I'm going to be working onto my bottom here. I'm just going to be taking that all along my bottom lash line. Um, I'm going to be taking that onto my outer corner here on the bottom and kind of dragging in about halfway on our bottom lash line. I don't want to go all the way to, you know what I do, you know what I do. Taking that dark French kiss color on a flat definer brush, I'm popping that on the outer corner of my lower lash line here and kind of into the middle. With this color I actually don't want to go all the way into the inner corner, I just kind of want to define it a bit more. Taking some mischief on my brush here, I'm going to be taking that right underneath. So right about now it's going to be kind of looking a little goofy. Um, it does look incomplete, so I'm going to be taking a flat brush and I'm going to be picking up the color buttercream, I believe it is. Butter cake. It's called butter cake. I'm just going to be popping this onto the center of my lid. Um, we don't want to bring it too far out because we want this to look and keep its halo effect. Alright, so I actually didn't go in with lashes, you guys. I thought this look looked actually really pretty without any, and you can really see your eye, and that's kind of the star of the show today. I'm going to be jumping in with the Nude Pink Lip Liner by NYX, and I'm just going to be lining my lips quick. Alright, so this look is pretty warm, so I'm gonna go in with a new favorite of mine. It's the Ultra Matte Lipstick by ColourPop in the color Chi. This is kind of like a warm nude brown, kind of darker look. And I think it pairs really good with the eyes. Alright, so this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you liked it. This look, this look was super fun to create for all of you guys. And let me know if you guys want to see these kind of videos. Let me know what kind of palettes you want me to do a look on. What palettes are you struggling with? Um, I'd be happy to create a look for you guys. So yeah, you guys can leave that down in the comments below. If you guys have any questions on the products that I used, go ahead and put that in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer it for you. I really love to know that you guys like these kind of videos, so go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you like this video and want to see more videos like this one. Know that I love you all, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.